Hey, welcome to our 10th episode of SpaceX in the News. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today, just like in our previous couple episodes, we're gonna talk about the Starhopper. It seems to be the popular thing these days, and it should be because it's exciting. We get to watch the future being built right in front of our eyes. But we're also gonna talk about some controversy. Where exactly is the Starship and Super Heavy going to be built? California or Texas? It's kind of confusing to get the right information, and we're gonna try our best here in this episode. We'll also mention the Falcon Heavy briefly, a thing called the Octagrabber, which is interesting if you haven't seen this before. And we'll talk about some up and coming missions that aren't exactly up and coming. And we'll talk about why that might be right now. Boca Chica is the name and Boca Chica is the place where SpaceX is going to launch its Starship test vehicle dubbed Starhopper. This week, some locals caught SpaceX installing some fuel tanks on the development site. These tanks will be used to fill up Starhopper for its up and coming flights here in the next couple months, maybe even couple weeks. And Starhopper itself, which was once assembled, has since been taken apart in two so that these fuel bulkheads can be installed. And to help with the progress, the Raptor engine placeholders have also been removed. Apparently there's so much stuff going on at this site that people were actually stopping in the middle of the road and blocking traffic. So SpaceX had to get a local sheriff to get in there and get their hands dirty and get people moving. I can't really blame them though. You know, if I was driving down the middle of nowhere and I just saw this huge shiny ship standing by the side of the road, I'd probably at least stop and stare for a second too. Okay, take a deep breath. Let's get into some controversy. Where is SpaceX going to build Starship and Super Heavy? the rocket that's going to take us back to the moon and eventually to Mars. So for those of you that have been following SpaceX for a while now, you probably already know that they were planning on building the Starship and Super Heavy at their port facility in LA. I remember watching the video of SpaceX making the proposal to the city council for this building site. And we all thought that everything was good and everything was gonna be taken care of. And SpaceX actually moved on to the site and actually started showing us pictures of the development of Starship. Uh, it was just some tools, but I mean, it was something. But then the other day out of nowhere, the LA Times releases an article saying that SpaceX will no longer build the Starship and Super Heavy at their port facility in LA. They're gonna move it over to Texas and build it there. So why is this such a big deal? Well, wherever SpaceX goes, job opportunity goes, okay? And when there's job opportunities, the local economy flourishes. So this could potentially be a huge loss for LA if SpaceX does in fact pull their Starship Super Heavy development from California and into Texas. But is that what SpaceX is really doing? Well, Tesla Roddy picked up the story and tweeted out and Elon responded by saying this wasn't true. Starship and Raptor development is being done out of our headquarters in Hawthorne, California. Starship prototypes are being built locally at our launch site in Texas as their size makes them very difficult to transport. So you would think that might just settle it, but if you actually listen to those words, it doesn't settle anything. I mean, the article didn't say that development was gonna cease in Hawthorne. What it said is that production was going to cease in Los Angeles. So this begs the question, did Elon intentionally leave that part out of his response? Now, when I first read this article, I kind of thought maybe the writer didn't know exactly what she was talking about, or maybe she was confused. So I was thinking maybe she thought that because, you know, the Star Hopper is being built in Texas, that the Starship Super Heavy was no longer gonna be built in LA. But then Elon tweeted that it was actually SpaceX's miscommunication, which makes sense because the article did have some quotes by local city councilmen about how disappointed they were that SpaceX was no longer going to be building the Starship and Super Heavy at the port, which is interesting because LA Times wasn't the only one to run with this story. CNN Business did as well. And so did a local news station. And in that article, a spokesman for the city council actually said that SpaceX informed his office last week that it was pulling out of the lease. However, he said he didn't want to comment on SpaceX's reasons for pulling out of the lease. But if you actually scroll just a few paragraphs down, he does give a reason for SpaceX pulling out of the deal. He says they're not pulling out of the port of LA because it has something to do with California or their very high taxes. He said it has to do with the materials that they're using to build it. Now remember, it was just a couple months ago when SpaceX decided to switch from a carbon composite material for their rocket to a stainless steel alloy. So all those tools and the pieces of the BFR we saw snapped at Port LA over the last several months actually doesn't really mean much anymore. But I would like to add that I do think it makes more logistical sense to move the site from California to Texas because of transportation. It has been said by Elon and Gwen that it actually costs way too much money and it's a logistical nightmare to ship something as wide as the Starship and Super Heavy down the freeway. So what they have to do at the port of LA is put it on a big barge and send it through the Panama Canal. And that's really expensive and it takes a while. 
Whereas if they just moved the site to Texas and Boca Chica, they could just put it on a ship and just take it right across the Gulf, right to Florida, right to the launch pad. So while we don't actually have concrete answers, I am winning on the side of, I think they're moving the Starship and Super Heavy development to Boca Chica. But I could be wrong. And if or when I am, I will be sure to let you guys know on one of these videos. <laughs> okay, I got through it. Let's move on to layoffs. Okay, so if you haven't heard, SpaceX has laid off 577 of its employees, most of them being engineers. That's about 10% of SpaceX's entire workforce. And they said the reasons for doing so is to prepare for the tight times ahead. Now, obviously SpaceX is a multi-billion dollar company, but they're probably not as profitable as you think. Now, I would imagine that most of the profits they get from their customers, whether it's NASA or just other companies that wanna put satellites in space, I would imagine most of that goes to R&D, building bigger and better rockets, like the Starship and Super Heavy. I mean, that's the whole point of SpaceX. That is why Elon founded SpaceX in the early 2000s, to take us to Mars and inspire generations. It's not to make a huge profit, although they need that profit in order to progress the agenda. So it shouldn't come as a shock that you know, SpaceX isn't all that profitable, although that's not to say they aren't successful. They very much are. Now look, it's not uncommon with tech companies, especially in Silicon Valley, to have these mass layoffs, okay? Uh, when times are good and the economy is booming, you're having these high profit margins, you need to bring in new em employees, more employees to keep up with that high demand. But that's not how things are always gonna stay. And when things start to decline or look like they're gonna start declining, you need to start letting some people go so you don't go into the red and lose your company and then nobody has a job. Now, the reason SpaceX is doing this is because they're trying to be financially responsible about their future. They have two huge projects going on right now. One of them is Starship and Super Heavy, and the other one is Starlink. If you haven't heard of Starlink, it's basically a satellite constellation program that's gonna allow cheap broadband and high-speed broadband across the entire globe. Obviously, such things will be very expensive. So what do you do when you want to afford that really nice thing that's gonna cost a lot of money? You start saving up. And when you start saving up, that means you have to sacrifice some things. And unfortunately, it was these jobs of these employees. Now look, I'm not saying I agree or disagree with how they were let go. Because of the Lego Falcon Heavy I built with Lego Ideas, I did befriend a couple SpaceX employees and um, they did tell me how that all went down. And basically they were all shuffled in, all the employees of SpaceX were shuffled into uh, a meeting with Elon and Gwen. And they were basically told good job on the last Iridium 8 launch, but sorry, you know, we have to make this 10% cut across the board. They said, it's Friday, go home early, keep an eye on your email and you'll be notified if you still have a job with us. Luckily, the buddy I did talk to got to keep his job, but he said things were really weird the next day at work. But the craziest thing my buddy told me is what Elon actually said at the meeting. Apparently, the Starlink program is so imperative for SpaceX's success that if it doesn't work, quote, it could be the end of SpaceX, end quote. That's what Elon said, apparently, as long as my buddies remember this word for word. Take that for what it is. It's hearsay, guys. So if, <laughs> if you own stocks and, eat, and SpaceX, don't sell. Honestly, if I had the money, I would bet on them because Elon gets things done. Okay, finally moving on to Falcon Heavy. In one of my previous videos, I told you that the first side booster for the next Falcon Heavy launch has made its way to Florida, but now the second side booster has been photographed making its way there as well. And on top of that, a local pilot recently flew by McGregor, Texas at their testing site, and he got to see the center core for the Falcon Heavy being static fired. So things are starting to progress and come to a head for the Falcon Heavy's next launch, which should be in March. Okay, so let's talk about something interesting. Have you ever heard of the Octagrabber? Because until a few days ago, I hadn't. But then someone took a picture of this weird contraption on the deck of Just Read the Instructions, the autonomous drone ship that catches some of the Falcon 9 boosters. And it was a bunch of connections and, and chains and, and pipes and metal rods that hold the Falcon 9 booster to the deck of the drone ship. So when it rocks in the waves, it doesn't tip over in the ocean because it's almost done that before in the past. So when I was looking into this, I actually found a picture of a robot, an autonomous robot, that's on the deck of the other drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You. So what this drone ship does is it actually maneuvers itself underneath the landed booster on top of the drone ship, and it connects itself to the landing legs in the octaweb underneath the, the booster, and it secures it in place. And I just thought this was the coolest thing, and I actually found an animated video online, so you can look at that right here. Anyway, some of you probably know about it, some of you probably don't, I just thought I'd share that because I found it really fascinating. All right, let's finish this video out talking about upcoming missions. And you know what, I'm kind of sad to announce that there really aren't any, especially in terms of SpaceX, who we're used to seeing launch like every other week. Their next mission isn't until sometime in February, there's not a date yet, and it's for the Crew Dragon, the Demo-1 flight. 
Um, it will be exciting, but again, we don't have a date, and some people are pointing the finger at the government shutdown, but the truth of it is, is we just don't know why um, exactly uh, it could be the government shutdown, even though NASA is saying that's not the case. And they're saying it's not the case because even though a lot of NASA employees are furloughed right now and they're not working, there is a, a special branch within NASA called the Commercial Crew Program. Since they deal with a lot of private companies and they also deal with the International Space Station, it's kind of important to keep those people in their roles. And on the same side of that, that coin, SpaceX has said that they did have some things that they needed to improve before they launched this vehicle. But don't be depressed, guys. Just keep it in your mind. Starhopper's coming. Maybe even in a few weeks. Wouldn't that be awesome? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this video and found it informative. If you did, consider subscribing. Join the family. If you like space, this is the place for you. And you know what? I actually have a very special video I'm gonna release here in the next few days. It involves my science students and Kerbal Space Program. It's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to showing you guys this. So I hope to see you there. God bless you. Stay righteous.